did you know that Nike, the global sportswear giant, started its journey from the back of a car? Yes, you heard it right. Our story begins on a crisp January day in 1964. A young track athlete named Phil Knight and his coach, Bill Bowman, decided to venture into the world of sports footwear. This dynamic duo founded a company called Blue Ribbon Sports, or BRS for short, with a vision to revolutionize the sports industry. Knight and Bowman were not just dreamers, they were doers. They set up their operation in the charming city of Eugene, Oregon. But their operation wasn't in a swanky downtown office or a bustling factory. No, it was in Knight's automobile, a makeshift mobile sales office where they would sell their shoes. BRS didn't start by creating their own shoes though. They began as a distributor for a Japanese shoemaker called Onitsuka Tiger. The name might not ring a bell, but you probably know them by their modern name, ASICS. The business model was simple, but effective. Knight and Bowerman would attend track meets across the state selling Onitsuka Tiger Shoes straight out of Knight's car. It was a grassroots operation, a humble beginning that seems almost unimaginable when you consider the global powerhouse Nike has become today. In 1971, BRS became Nike, a name that would soon become synonymous with sports and style. This wasn't just a mere change of name, it was a transformation, a rebirth that would change the face of sports apparel forever. Blue Ribbon Sports, a humble distributor of Onitsuka Tiger Shoes, was evolving into an entity of its own, ready to make its mark in the sports world. The transformation of BRS to Nike wasn't just about a new name, it was also about a new identity, a symbol that would come to signify the brand's ethos. Enter the iconic Nike swoosh, a simple yet powerful design that would soon become one of the most recognized logos around the globe. But did you know that this legendary logo was designed by a graphic design student named Carolyn Davidson for a mere $35? Yes, you heard right, the emblem of speed and motion embodying the spirit of the brand's namesake, the Greek goddess of victory, was bought for just $35. Speaking of the name, let's delve a little into its origins. Nike, doesn't it just roll off the tongue? It's simple, it's catchy, and it holds a powerful meaning. Inspired by the Greek goddess of victory, Nike, the brand name encapsulates the essence of triumph and athleticism. It was a name that resonated with the founder's vision of creating a brand that would dominate the sports world. A brand that would become a symbol of victory for athletes everywhere. From the tracks of University of Oregon to being the global sports powerhouse it is today, the journey was filled with bold decisions and transformative changes. The rebranding of BRS to Nike was one such pivotal moment, a turning point that set the trajectory for the brand's meteoric rise. And thus, with a new name and a distinct logo, Nike was ready to take on the world. The stage was set, the players were ready, and, and, and Nike was all set, set to change the game. But little did the world know that it was just the beginning of an incredible journey, a journey filled with innovation, style and countless victories. With innovative designs and a strong marketing strategy, Nike experienced exponential growth in the following years. A significant milestone in their journey was the introduction of the waffle trainer in 1974. This was no ordinary shoe, but a revolution in the making. It was the first to feature the iconic waffle sole, 
a design inspired by Bill Bowerman's breakfast waffle iron. This unique design provided superior traction and changed the game for athletes everywhere. The waffle trainer was more than just a shoe. It was a statement of Nike's commitment to innovation and performance. It was a testament to their understanding of athletes' needs. The shoe's success propelled Nike into the spotlight, establishing them as a serious contender in the sportswear market. Fast forward to 1984, another pivotal year for Nike. They made a strategic decision that would forever change the face of sneakers and sports culture. Nike signed a then rookie basketball player, Michael Jordan, to endorse their brand. This was a bold move considering Jordan was just starting his career. But Nike saw potential in him and boy were they right. With this partnership, Nike launched the popular Air Jordan sneakers. These weren't just basketball shoes, they were a cultural phenomenon. The Air Jordan line brought a fresh wave of style into the sneaker world, blending performance with fashion. They were the epitome of cool and everyone wanted a pair. The Air Jordan's popularity transcended the basketball court, becoming a coveted item among sneakerheads and fashion enthusiasts alike. This move not only solidified Nike's position in the basketball shoe market, but also made them a prominent player in the global fashion industry. Through these strategic decisions, Nike demonstrated an uncanny ability to merge performance, innovation and style. Their relentless pursuit of excellence, coupled with a keen understanding of their audience, fueled their growth and expansion. Nike's relentless innovation and strategic partnerships propelled it to become a dominant player in the global sportswear market. Their journey is a testament to the power of creativity, vision and strategic decision making. And as we all know, the rest is history. Today, Nike stands as a beacon of innovation, style and athletic excellence. From the track fields of Oregon to the bustling streets of New York, London, Tokyo and beyond, Nike swoosh has become a symbol recognized in every corner of the globe. The brand's current status is nothing short of being a global sportswear giant, creating waves not just in the realm of sports, but also in the world of fashion. Nike's product lines are as diverse as they are innovative. The Nike Air Max, for instance, combines comfort and style in a way that transcends the boundary between athletic wear and everyday fashion. Its air-filled soles have become a staple, a mark of the brand's commitment to innovate and redefine what footwear can be. Then there's the Nike Air Force line, a product range that has captured the hearts of sneakerheads around the world. These shoes have become a cultural icon, a canvas for self-expression that goes beyond the basketball courts for which they were originally designed. And let's not forget the Nike Vaporfly. These shoes have revolutionized long distance running with their unique design and advanced technology, embodying Nike's dedication to helping athletes reach their full potential. However, it's not just about creating trendy sneakers and high performance athletic gear. Nike also leads in championing causes that matter. Their Move to Zero campaign, for instance, underscores their commitment commitment to sustainability. It's an ambitious journey towards zero carbon and zero waste to help protect the future of sport, a testament to their belief that a better world can be created through sport. Nike also continues to embrace inclusivity, creating gear for athletes of all shapes, sizes and abilities. They're not just creating products, they're creating opportunities for everyone 
to engage in sport, to be part of a global community. From its humble beginnings to its current global presence, Nike continues to inspire athletes and fashion enthusiasts around the world. With every swoosh we see, we're reminded of a brand that's more than just a brand. It's a movement, a culture, a testament to the power of sport and innovation. Nike's journey is a testament to innovation, strategic partnerships and the power of branding. Reflecting back on the narrative we've traversed, it all started in the humble beginnings of Blue Ribbon Sports, founded by Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman in the mid-60s. Initially acting as a distributor for the Japanese shoemaker Onitsuka Tiger, the roots of this global empire were sprouting from the trunk of Knight's automobile at local track meets. Transitioning from the distributor to the creator, the birth of Nike was a significant milestone. The company's shift from selling to creating was not just a change in operations, but a shift in mindset. The focus moved towards innovation, towards creating something that would revolutionize the world of sports footwear. The birth of Nike was more than the birth of a company. It was the birth of a brand, a symbol, a movement. Growth and expansion followed, testament to the power of strategic partnerships and branding. Nike's partnership with Michael Jordan, the creation of the iconic Just Do It slogan, and the introduction of revolutionary technology like Air Max all contributed to the company's meteoric rise. Each decision, each partnership, each innovation was a stepping stone in the staircase to success. Today, Nike is more than just a shoe company. It's a global brand, a symbol of athleticism, determination and style. It's a testament to the power of a good idea the strength of strategic partnerships and the influence of branding. But Nike's story is not just about sports shoes. It's about the power of dreams, the importance of perseverance and the impact of innovation. It's about recognizing opportunities, taking risks and staying true to your vision. It's about not being afraid to start small, to grow slowly and to keep pushing forward no matter the obstacles. Whether you're a sneakerhead, an athlete, or just someone who appreciates a good story, the history of Nike offers valuable lessons and an inspiring narrative.